Hey everybody, Geoarm Security here, and today we're gonna to show you how to install the M2M services LTE-MAV, wireless LTE M1 cellular alarm communicator into the DSC Power Series system. Now, a quick note about this M1 LTE module is it's perfect for anybody coming from Next Alarm services or looking into a Ring or a Simply Safe system. The reason why is you can reuse your existing system in most cases, only pay about $70 for the part, and have a monthly monitoring rate with GeoArm for only $12 a month with no long term contract. In addition to the low cost of the module as well as the $12 a month monitoring, the M2M module has another advantage, which is it comes pre-wired. Now in this first part of the video, or the first segment of the video, I'm going to show you how to wire this just for basic uh, wireless signal forwarding, meaning no app control from the smartphone. Uh, in my second half of the video, I'll show you what you need to do with the uh, orange and the white wire. So for now, you can put those to the side and you'll just be working with the green, the yellow, the black, and the red wire. These four wires, super simple. Okay, now keynote here is make sure the backup battery is unplugged as well as the power transformer. Um, you'll need a small flathead screwdriver Okay, now this is very, very important. Um, and I'm gonna show you the first wire we're gonna work with is the red wire. And usually that means power, same in this case. We're gonna locate the auxiliary plus. Now it must go in there because there is polarity. So if you, you know, switch to these wires and you put black here instead of red, you could fry the module. So what I'm gonna do is unscrew auxiliary plus insert the wire, tighten it up, that way it doesn't pop out and you don't have any communication issues. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go with the black wire, which is gonna go in the auxiliary minus. Simply unscrew. This is what's gonna provide power to the, to the uh, LTE radio. Okay, now we're gonna work with the green wire and green is going to go to ring which is clearly labeled right here ring and screw it insert and tighten very good all right last but not least we're going to locate the tip port and we're going to Wire that in there, tighten it up. So just to confirm, we've got red in the plus, black in the minus, green in the ring, and yellow in the tip. Now we're going to get our antenna out of the packaging. By factory, it comes with a three foot antenna. If you needed a 10 foot when you're ordering uh, with the link below in the description, uh, there'll be a tab so you can toggle between the three foot or a 10 foot. Um, and this is super easy. What I like to do is just go ahead and mount the antenna here. Go ahead and feed the wire through. And you're going to screw that in. And if you like, you can just place this LTE module inside here. You can use 3M sticky tape, uh, double-sided tape, whatever works. Make sure that the orange and the white wires are out of the way. And another key note about this M2M LTE module is that it can actually work with, with your alarm system even if you don't have your installer code in most cases. Um, there's three questions that you need to ask yourself. One, has the system been monitored before? Two, do you have the codes to arm it and disarm it? And three, is it in working order? If your answer is yes to all three of those questions, then this module can send your alarm signals to our central station receiver without the installer code. Now you'd go ahead and plug in the backup battery and the power transformer and give GeoArm a call so that we can go ahead and activate your monitoring services. Stay tuned for the second half where I'm gonna show you how to wire the orange and the white wire so that you can control your, uh, your alarm system from your smartphone using the R-Control app. 
As promised, I am going to show you how to wire your power series with the M2M module for interactive remote control using the R control app. The first wire I'm going to work with is the white one. That's going to be assigned either to PGM1 or PGM2. In this case, we have a brand new board and I have PGM1 open. I'm going to go ahead and screw that in there, make sure it's tight so it doesn't come out. And you could use PGM2. Uh, just make sure you tell your tech um, when you're getting this thing activated so that way they can assign you uh, assign it in the keypad here. A uh, quick bit of information, you'll actually need your installer code in order to get the interactive app. If you don't have the installer code to access programming, then you, you know, you're not going to be able to get the app on your smartphone, so keep that in mind. Now you'll notice with the orange wire, I've just you know, simply twisted together a 4.6K uh, resistor, um, which will either go into zone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, whichever one you have available. Uh, you will need an open available zone dedicated to this wire uh, or else it won't work. So I'm going to just go ahead and use zone 1. I'm going to screw that in there. Make sure that it is secure. Then I'll take the other end of the resistor and wire that into the common right here open it up a little bit and it's in there snug and I'll go ahead and screw that in there nice and snug so you'll see uh, zone one has one end of the resistor as well as the orange wire and the other area the common has the opposite end of this resistor wired into there Okay, and at this point, you can go ahead and plug the backup battery in, plug the transformer in, uh, and if this is a new activation, you can call GeoArm so that we're able to activate the radio. Um, by the way, the username and login for the app to our control is actually uh, uh, listed inside the instructions, uh, which come in every package, which is uh, identifiable by each individual communicator. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.